Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial of Latina makeup. We've all seen the trend going around on Pinterest, I'll put a couple pictures up here. And this year I told myself I was going to film my last first video because I filmed so many like first videos for YouTube and then I never end up posting them or never end up doing anything with them. So this is my last one, my last first one. And what better video than my everyday makeup routine which just happens to be the Latina makeup, copy paste makeup. Oh wait, actually, before we get started, can you like and subscribe, please? Thank you, I love you. Okay, bye. I left my hair natural today, um, because we're doing the Latina makeup. We all know, we all know which one, this one. Also, sorry if I'm looking up here. My camera has like the little, like, you can like flip the screen. And, I don't know, I'd just be looking up there. Okay, so step one, we're gonna dye our hair. A dark brown slash black and we're gonna put in really big black eye contacts <laughs> just kidding now we're gonna prime and this is pretty I don't know this is gonna be like my take on like the Latina makeup so we're gonna follow it but it's you know it's my own take it's still technically Latina makeup like I could literally make my eyebrows red right now and it would still be Latina makeup because it's done by Latina so I don't know how full coverage I want to be today. Mm. Actually, wait, I gotta make my eyebrows first. Hold on. Breaking news. <laughs> this product is supposed to be used before your makeup. I did not know that. I saw this girl, I think this girl commented on my video and she was like, hey, you're supposed to actually put that on first. And then I was like, oh. And then I did it and it, like, it stayed so much better. It just looked nicer. And my eyebrows are looking a little crazy, I know. Oh my gosh, do you guys see that? Ew, they're so long. I put them in their place. Now, are those the best eyebrows I've ever had? No. That's okay. Okay, back to the foundation. Uh, how full coverage do I want to be? I think we're going to say minimal full coverage. So I'm going to do me e.l.f. I love this stuff. I know everybody has their opinion on it, but honestly, to me, this girl slays. Okay, two confessions. One, I really need to wash my makeup brush. I feel like this, I don't remember the last time I washed it, and she's like, look, why is she bent like that? It's gross. I probably should not. I'm going to show you that, but. And number two, what was number two? I don't remember. Okay, I'm going to use the NYX. Low contour stick. I love this stuff. Okay, so for the nose, we do the bottom and then we create like a little a little button wedge and then like a little V. Like that. Oh, it already looks a little better. <laughs> also, y'all wanna know when I knew that I was like a makeup artist? So in high school, do y'all remember the Lorac palette that was like everybody and their mom had that and contoured with that? So I did too. And it came with this brush that was like a contour brush, it was like angled. Everybody in their mom used to contour with that stuff. And I remember I would like use powder brushes, like this one. I would use powder brushes because I was like, you, they just gives like a more natural look. And people would always be like, oh my god, you're like not using contour brush, like it's like, look good. Um, and then Bobbi Brown did, like the makeup artist, makeup Bobbi Brown. She's my favorite. She did like this tutorial or something, I can't remember, but she basically was like, oh yeah, pro tip, if you use a powder brush to do your contour, like it'll look more natural. And I was like, ah, great minds. Now for the nose reveal. I'm gonna bring this contour in to, what the fuck is this called? Into the crease. I miss the old days of YouTube when you could like play regular music and not get copyrighted. I feel like we would have so much more fun together. And kind of like 2016 it, like where we would fill in the outer half and then just like be really sparse in the, in the beginning. Do you guys want me to zoom you in? <gasps> I hope that all this zooming in doesn't make a noise because you know some cameras make that noise. I've, I've just been talking this whole time. Look, I'm so professional. Um, these are, are these the best eyebrows I've ever done? No. It's okay. Time to do our concealer. So I like to do a concealer that is my shade. I put this one on first. On like all my areas. I have celiac, so sometimes I wake up and 
Let me do us all a favor and avoid the celiac sap story. But see, once I like carve them out, they look so good. You may be asking yourself, where are you going today? What are you going to do today? Um, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to the gym, but the gym is downstairs. So I'm like not leaving my apartment. Uh, I do have my pageant in, I think it's like 16 days now. And whenever we get close to pageants, y'all, I start having these nightmares. And I'm... I'm pretty intuitive so I know what they are but okay the talent part of the pageant is my favorite part but it's also the part that I stress out the most because I just have these really high expectations for myself and um, like I just I just I'm really hard on myself and I always procrastinate on the dance like for example for this pageant I had this really honestly out of my league very out of my league routine and I was practicing this routine and it was like nine I'm really bad at spins nine spins and I was getting dizzy I f sorry I'm not gonna cuss I passed out because I was doing too many spins and then I just stopped practicing it and then I were really close to the date and I had to change the routine to be something because imagine how embarrassing it would be if I passed out on stage oh my gosh uh, I changed the routine and now I'd say I'm like 80% like done with it. It's just like the final. Now it's just like getting the final stuff done. And I dance flor clorico. So in that you gotta have like this giant smile the whole time. So I have to, I like actually have to practice doing that. Yeah, and I'd be having nightmares. Like this is a recurring nightmare that I have before every single pageant. I'll have this nightmare that all of a sudden they change the pageant date and it's like that day and I don't know my dance. And I have to go up there and freestyle, and then I fall. And it's bad, because, y'all, last night, given I did go to bed at, like, 8 p.m., like a freaking grandma, but I'm, like, dreaming, and then all of a sudden I have that dream again, and I wake up, and it's 2.15 in the morning, and I couldn't go back to sleep, and all I could think about was, like, oh my gosh, there's 16 days left to your budget. Are you ready? And I'm like, no. Now, let's powder our slails up. Me and the Swim Me Powder, if you know, you know, we're married. Sorry if this video has been all over the place. I, this is my authentic self, this is who I am. Next, I'm gonna take a little bit of contour and go over my nose because I feel like we, we lost a little bit of that. I have one pimple right there. I was gonna add um, setting powder, but I don't think we need it. I'm gonna do just a little bit of blush. I know that typically, I know that typically that's not included in like, Latina makeup but like I said I'm a Latina and I'm doing makeup so technically whatever I do is Latina makeup technically by definition I'm just gonna do a little bit just to like warm up my face if you're wondering what blush this is because it's so pretty I don't know the the name just it wore off within like two uses and it broke off and I drop it all the time but she's still rolling you can kind of see it's from Essence I'm always stuck between gel liner and regular liner. I think I'm going to do gel liner today. We're doing the Nova Beauty uh, gel liner in the shade ASAP. Here is how I do my eyeliner. All you need is your eyeliner, a little mirror, and a little brush like this. And you're going to follow your lash line. Like, literally the line that this right here, just continue it. Okay, and then once you have that, we should probably zoom you in. Once you have that, we're going to just connect it. And personally, for my eye shape, I don't like to go all the way in. I like to just go to like right here. Okay, like that. It looks messy. That's good. That's how it's supposed to look. And then you're going to take your brush and you're going to make all the lines look good. And we have that. Again, is this the best wing I've ever done? Probably not. Oh my god, these don't even look like... They related. <gasps> now me making a tutorial and not knowing how to do it. So you should not believe everything you see online. Where's my cap? Well, you know what? We're just gonna leave it. Like it's fine. It's okay. Life goes on. And try not to like get any on your eyelid. I really like to do my bottom lashes. Okay, we're gonna let that mascara dry. Typically, I would just leave my makeup like this. But since the girly who cosplayed a Latina lashes then I'm gonna put lashes on 
But before that, let's do a little bit of highlight. So I'm gonna do highlight in the inner corners. Just a little bit. The this is called the bridge of my nose, I think. And then a little line right here. Now let's do our lips. I'm gonna take this Nova Beauty lip liner in the shade Pink Nude 01. Okay, here is where you have uh, creativity. In a typical Latina makeup, Latina makeup tutorial, you would just kind of like go over here and then go over here, like kind of like in a straight line. But I actually really like my little Cupid's bow and I like to, I think that's what it's called, and I like to accentuate it. So to each their own. I've also seen a lot of people when they do Latina makeup, they, they're like, you have to use a brown liner. Um, probably. But I really like this pink one, so I'm gonna do this one. I feel like for every step, I'm like, typically you would do this, but I'm gonna do this. Okay, for lips, I really right now, my obsession, my thing at this current moment is a really cute, like, pinky lip. Like I said, I know if you're nutritional makeup, blah, 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 blah. Like, I know, use brown, use brown, use brown, but I like pink. Okay, so I'm gonna do my favorite lipstick right now, which is the YSL, what are these called? Girl, I don't know, but it's in the shade 9. It is so pretty. Now let's do our lashes. I'm gonna do the Kiss No Glue Lashes. I love these. So I have them in Spiky, Voluminous, and voluminous i think i'll do voluminous so they come in medium and long so i'm going to take just like a long piece and a medium piece you just kind of you know if you really wanted to do real og latina makeup like for real for real you need these this is from sin oh my <clears throat> sorry sorry this is from Cinderella beauty these are the lashes in the shade shade style in the style roby some of these are not perfect latina makeup well, you may be asking yourself, where can you get these? Nowhere. I closed my shop. These you actually put on under. Oh my god, I was literally blocking all my light. Me being a professional YouTuber. Okay, I'm gonna do one eye, and then that way you guys can see the difference. And these literally just stick on like that. Like you just put them on and you squeeze, and they are on. I don't know how I'm not like blind yet. I hope to never be blind, you know? But I get so many things in my eyes. Like when I wash my face, I swear, like all the face wash goes in my eye. I am really, that is not my uh, talent. Ow! See, I just got in my eye again. Are these the best eyelashes I've ever put on? No, but it's okay. Okay, I think we're done. And we're done. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys had fun coming along with me and doing this, I don't know, sort of like knockoff. Latina makeup, but it's not knockoff because again, I am Latina, so any makeup I do is technically Latina makeup by definition. Yeah, bye. Subscribe. I think I was supposed to say like and subscribe, so please do that.